Hello everyone. Today I'm going to tell you about uh, how to set your Linux, in my case Ubuntu, to shut down in a particular particular time of the day and then boot on again. Uh, I'm going to t uh, show you in a user-friendly way, beginner-friendly, not user, but beginner-friendly way, because I'm also a beginner in Linux and I don't know much about scripts or code coding, so I tried to find an easy solution and this is what I found and it works. So as long as it works, I think it's sufficient at least for the beginners, uh, I mean people such as me. Sorry for my pronunciation, but since I'm going to write everything here, I hope it wouldn't be a problem. What I want is I have a Linux running on an old laptop. I'm using it for some specific issues like a server or you can use it for torrent or IRC or I don't know like here you can use it for Plex or Kodi or in other issue for a firewall or maybe DNS server I don't know but the thing is I want it to shut off shut down at 2, 2 a.m. and then I want it to boot again boot on again at 20.00 which is 8 p.m. So this is what I want. So to do this, first of all, I, I'm i going to use current tab and also we are going to use RTC wake together. Current tab is a, is a Linux, is a, it, it, it's a task uh, scheduler. I mean, uh, you they in particular times of the day, Crontap runs the commands that you want it to run. And RTC Wake is a bit different. It works with the BIOS, the BIOS clock. It can shut down the computer, but also it can boot, boot it on using BIOS. So your BIOS shouldn't be too old if your BIOS clock is outdated or slow or near uh, that, or your BIOS is too old that it doesn't support RTC Wake, you may have problems, but since my laptop is more than 10 years old and it was an average laptop even in its time, so it's working. First of all, we need to find where our RTC Wake is located because Crontop might have some problems running it, so it's better to run using the full path. Okay, our RTC Wake is in USR, SPIN, and RTC Wake. So let's go to Crontab. You can open Crontab with this Crontab E, but I'm going to use slow. Okay. Okay, here we are in the Crontab. As you can see, Crontab is all about setting commands to be run on particle dates and uh, okay I opened it with now this was something I did for to test if it's running and it's running okay I wrote this by myself as a note you can you, as you know you put this symbol here and then it becomes a kind of title for yourself to remember what why did you do you wrote this so it's I say RTC wake, shut down, and boot, command, maybe cron job, or they say, and it's set, it's from 2 to 20. Okay, so I want it to be, to run the command at 2 o'clock, o'clock at night, so it's, we are going and writing it, here this is hours and minutes, so it's 2 o'clock, and which day of the month every day this means every day if I do this it's the fifth day of the month or 15th day of the month but I want it to run every day and which month every month which day of the week like Monday Tuesday every week so current task date parts must have five entries minute hour day of month month day of week and then we go to the command section. Who will run it? I will run it. Root. I'm the root. And then what am I going to run? I'm going to run the RTC wake command. 
yes that's it and I wanted to use my UTC hour of my BIOS actually my hardware clock and software clock are the same you can find it on the internet or maybe I can show you I will show you after this so I'm going to use you you can write it and also what command what I want RTC wake to do I want it to shut off my computer my operating system but then I wanted to wake it up again again we can write here date actually but in the internet I wrote uh, I, I wrote I read that some like symbols might have some problems and I don't want to bother with this so I just calculated how many seconds from 2 o'clock to 20 o'clock I calculated that and it's, it's easy you know 60 seconds for 60 minutes and for 18 hours I calculated it and it's something like this much so okay this is my comment I'm going to save it so what will this do is every day every month every day at 2 o'clock at night my cron tab will run this command RTC wake and then RTC wake will use will uh, shut off my computer and then will boot it again after 64,800 seconds later you can write more here for example now we know it's it, it will boot itself up at 8 p.m. right 20 o'clock we can put many uh, different entries here let's let's uh, play with it a bit so I want it let's say actually I don't want it to I want uh, let's say I want it to boot up in the midday and then I will uh, maybe I need it for an hour and then I want it to shut down again so actually uh, from 2 o'clock to 12 it means 10 right so what I want is here I want it to boot after 36,000 seconds which would be midday right and this RTC wake will do it so here now my new command the command is at 2 o'clock at night RTC wake will shut down my laptop and then after this many seconds it will boot up again and then later on at 13 o'clock 1 a.m. 1 p.m. just worked after one hour or let's say after two hours let it work for two hours maybe I just I, I just need to check something who knows I wanted to once again shut it down so it can boot up after six hours at exactly 8 p.m. so we let's calculate it what does it make it makes that much and let's change to the destination to 12 and from 14 to 20 okay then we save it this means CTR control X okay save modified buffer yeah of course save it yeah the same name okay we did it and also as I mentioned let's check if for hardware clock if it's same with the yeah you can see mine is this a local time I am on the plus 3 this is universal time and the RTC time is this it's not on local I can actually set it on local that way which that will set my hardware clock to the local time but I don't need it since I am using only seconds you know I'm not giving a date. If you if your system don't have time time date CTL, you can also use some command with sudo. It's 
called hw clock with debug and the dot setting. That's all I guess and I hope you can also put you can also try it if it's working or not. If you want to give it a try you can just simply use artist awake with so but I'm just going to show you. Hmm, you know, just do this, U M O and put like something like 60 seconds to see if it's working. Then this command will just shut down your operating system and it will run again after 60 seconds. Artix Awake can do more than just shutting down. As you can see here. Uh, you can put it in the standby no, uh, mode, you can freeze it, you can suspend to the RAM, suspend to the disk, and many other options. I hope this would be helpful. Thank you all for watching this, because it took some quite time for me to figure it out as a beginner, so I would like to share with you.